For more information on the Mi Box, visit their official. So what you're seeing right now is a Xiaomi Mi Box TV, Android TV OS 6.0, and I think it's their second or third generation uh, Mi Box TV before, but this is the one that's public wide. Um, the Mi Box build is really good. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is the storage space just because it only stores 8 gigabyte of space. And after you install all the apps, then it boils down to 5 gigabytes. So I highly recommend buying a USB flash drive with a big storage space. Now I love how round it is and how unique the look is. And it's real small and thin and it's the size of my palm. Now the back of it, you got your power output, one USB uh, USB slot, HDMI, and audio port. Now the sides of it is, as you can see, it's really thin, and um, it's about the size of my palm. And you can see the sensors in the front, and just the uh, the grip of it at the back, so it doesn't move a lot as well. So there's, it's really closed up. I uh, haven't really tested how far, how hot it can get, but just far. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is that there's no SD card, micro SD slot on this device. Now onto the remote, which is a lot bigger than the actual uh, device itself. Now it does familiarize with uh, Fire TV remote and a little bit of the Shield TV. Now it does have a power button, which I actually like and the volume button physical volume button and the only thing i don't like about this is you have to have AAA batteries rather than the rechargeable ones that you've seen on the shield tv but everything else is response uh time is really good and it's soft it's not clicky as like the shield tv but the only drawback that i don't like about the remote is where the mic uh sits is at the very top of the remote and I wish it was in the, the front of the remote so it's a lot easier for um, your voice to be picked up. Because you'll see on later on in this video how it doesn't pick up that uh, good. So here, here it is loading up. I did speed up the time uh, loading. It took about, I think about 30 seconds to load up or 45 seconds. And then it straights on through. Now... All right, so we're gonna take a look on the Android TV OS on the Mi Box TV. Um, what I love about it, the OS is just, it's built for TV. And I know it's Android, but it's not Android OS on your tablet or your phone. So let's get that out of the way. This is actually Android TV OS. So you can't just sideload any app and uh, for expect it to be a TV wide app, you know what I mean? But it, it won't, it'll just be, the square box that you see in the middle. Now, aside from that, this is all, all these apps are made for actual TV um, UI. So as you can see right here. Now, before I go on, uh, I'm gonna go to settings and let's go to about so I can show you. As you can see, the device name is Mi Box 3, the model and the version of the OS is 6.0.1, so it's uh, Marshmallow, as you can see from right there. Now, uh, it is limited to storage. As you can see, you only get uh, internal storage, you get like eight gigabyte, I think, but after, this is what you'll get with a little bit of install. I do have a USB drive um, installed on there, uh, on the back, which is only uh, 16 gigabyte, as you can see right there. So you could use that as an internal uh, if you wanted to. And then obviously you could connect all your uh, Bluetooth speaker to it because it doesn't have um, other than the, the U, uh, HDMI port, which is you could do it by there as well. So that's it for uh, right now. Uh, there's no Ethernet port, but you could get a USB Ethernet port. Uh, which I'll link down below. But as you can see, I have it linked to my uh, 5G connection Wi-Fi. Wi and so far, it's it's actually doing pretty good. Uh, I don't have a 4K TV, obviously, as you can see right here. I Let's bump it up to 1080p 60 hertz, obviously. As you can see, I confirmed right there. Um, and then you could have HDR off or on. I have it on auto, uh, depending on what the type of video play is. And Google Cast, you could actually cast 
whatever you want on here just as long as it's actually on which i like so you don't have it, it the cost of it the the chromecast is actually like 35 dollars and the new one for uh the ultra chromecast is about 69 but all you can do to it is just cast so you you make up your mind you want to buy the 69 dollar me box tv and get this full um ui os on it or just the casting so that depends on you what you actually like so let me go on with this me box recommends over here which i don't like because it's kind of like a bloatware on your um me box tv now obviously these are not installed but they want you to install it as you can see right there and then i did install some apps as you can see right here down at the bottom now let's say you didn't want the me box recommends here all the time um, there's actually a way to do that so you go to settings and go to apps go to system apps and go all the way to the right until you get to the the, the end of it and go to um, lean back custom customizer and just disable it when you click disable go ahead and click OK now when you get head back to out to it you won't see it anymore and you'll see just your apps that installed now obviously you could uninstall all these apps if, if it is installed by doing that it's just by going to settings go to apps and then obviously like right here I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall that and go ahead and click OK the what surprises me such uh, a little box with such um, pretty good specs I mean it's not no Nvidia shield if that's what you're trying to imply um, it's not at all Nvidia shield it's probably like the little brother of it um, another thing is as you can see right there right so the other thing you could actually do on the Android TV is see if you see all these YouTube and then my Plex and my MTV and stars and all this stuff that's recommended to you you could actually take this out by going to um, settings for example we're gonna take out all the YouTube stuff so we're gonna go to settings go to apps go system settings go all the way to the back the end of it until you see YouTube and go ahead and go to notifications and go ahead and turn it off so when you go back you won't see no more uh, YouTube recommendations up here all you see is what you actually want to watch before I go on about uh, streaming and stuff all everybody probably is wondering if it runs Plex well as you can see I'm running Plex right now and I actually installed it so you can see right here and I'm gonna go ahead and play a video so you can see it's 1080p ACC and stereo I'm gonna go ahead and play that and I'm just gonna go ahead and resume so you can see the quality of um, the video and this is streaming on Wi-Fi and I don't have a 4k monitor but this is what it looks like now as you can see I'm, I'm streaming the original so you can see right there so what's cool is uh, it actually keeps up uh, surprisingly with the with the um, stream and stuff like that I just uh, skipped through it as you can see sorry about the no sound that's just the whole YouTube copyright stuff so I'm gonna back out of it real quick and then I'm gonna show you um, SPMC the reason why I like SPMC better than than Cody just because of this uh, function alone uh, big ups to Queen for um, developing this this uh, SPMC uh, version of Cody. The reason this is my actually build. So if you want to go to search, this is running off the um, one of the add-ons. So if I go to uh, TV shows and I click on IP, and that brings up the voice stuff. So I can just say. As you can see right there so it, it picks up pretty good rather than you typing this is probably the only reason why I run SPMC on Android TV OS uh, on the shield and the me box so 
I'll try it again for you. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. So as you can see there, um, it actually puts it in the... Now I did want to show you uh, a 4K uh, MP4 file and a 1080p MP4 file on my um, SPMC app that I'm going to play right now so you can see how fast the 4K is, right? So as you can see, it's 4K 5.1 digital and this is not running off Wi-Fi. This is actually running off my USB storage drive because as you can see, um, it's a little laggy. Um, not gonna lie. Um, not sure about 4K on this box, even though I don't have a 4K TV, but as you can see, it's 2160 and it's running off my USB storage drive, so it's not running on the box internally. Uh, the problem with the, the remote you have to actually put the remote right in your face, like in your mouth, basically. Not inside your mouth, but around that area, and you have to tilt it so the, the mic is on top. There's a little hole there, so sometimes it doesn't get it. So if we were go to and just, uh, I could click to type, but what's the use of that? Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. See, as you can see, I had to stay, say it on the, the very top. As you can see, um, it has a universal search. It's available on Netflix and available on Hulu, or you could pay for it. And then some stuff at the bottom, which links up pretty fast. So if I were to just go click on Hulu, and I think it goes straight to it. I've actually never used this option. As you can see, it's loading. And then I think this is as an ad. Which is a little weird. Oh, it went to Breaking Bad, uh, the episode. Which is uh, kind of cool, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and try it on Netflix. And it plays right away of uh, season five, which is kind of cool. So as you can see right there, I'm going to go ahead and um, show you a 4K video YouTube, but it won't play 4K. So I'm just going to go ahead and go 4K videos. 4K videos. So it picks up. Uh, you have, that's the only thing probably bad about the remote and then the the Wi-Fi it's it's hanging on as you can see um, I'm gonna go to the quality as you can see 1080p and it's playing that 4k style video I guess but obviously it's not and this is the quality of the Mi Box TV it, it looks to me it looks good um, I, I know I don't have a 4k video to to show off and stuff like that but this is what it looks like and fast forward to it as you can see now I don't recommend playing games on this but uh, obviously you can but with the little bit limited storage space it, it kind of defeats the purpose of that right so it, it kind of um, but you could have an ex uh, external storage plugged in and stuff like that so um, these recommends, as you can see, it's a little slow at times when you're going too fast. But overall, it, it, it's actually a pretty great uh, box. Um, if I go to Sling, and then it just straight to it, it loads up pretty fast. I mean, uh, you got to have a good e uh, internet and router to just actually... So you can see, um, not sure if it's 1080p or 720p that's playing right now. It's kind of hard to tell watching it on, um, on. So that's a little sum of, of, of uh, the Android Mi Box TV, uh, Android OS. Uh, you could actually delete any of the apps that you don't want and make it your own and stuff like that. So I hope every I, I hope I answered everything you, you wanted to see on this review. 
Now, the only downside to this review, it doesn't have Ethernet port or a micro SD slot, but you could fix that with uh, a converter you could plug with a USB drive, uh, USB slot. And that'll be linked down below so you can check that out. And think of this, the Mi Box, as the little brother of the Shield TV. I mean, I don't want you to get like a bunch of Mi Box uh, spending 69 when you could actually just save for uh, $199, $199 for a Shield TV. So other than that, it's great to cast and it's great to stream. And make sure you guys subscribe and follow me on Twitter. And thanks again.